Hi, here's my review of the MB Tech thermostat. Uh, so uh, that's just the display screen where we see the humidity, uh, time, set point, and room temperature with the, the fan speed and uh, the eating stage. So, uh, when clicking twice, I go inside the thermostat and here I see all my options uh, I see the mode of operation uh, the history uh, the fan speed which can be auto or I can select whichever fan speed I prefer uh, the old feature if uh, I don't want to run the schedule I'll just probably just hold uh, the same temperature, let's say um, I would like to hold um, 64 Fahrenheit for either a few hours or I can make it always old, which is more convenient. Um, it does indicate me that I'm holding it at 64 and I don't want to do that now, so I will cancel this operation. Um, obviously, a standard schedule, weekday, weekend, uh, there's many blocks of time that you can program. It comes with six time blocks, uh, and you can obviously copy to all the week and the weekend uh, all at once. It make it easier. Uh, so... Uh, and I think one of the... Uh, option here is called precision and that's one you would like to uh, pay some attention because uh, actually that's the differential uh, to which it triggers the speed so we do it is a three speed fan you can only use one uh, you can manually trigger you know one of the speed you can use you know only if you want the the minimum uh, speed um, but if you do use the three speed in automatic, then uh, for each uh, Fahrenheit away from the set point, uh, this will trigger an additional uh, speed. So let's say my set point, I mean, uh, let's say I'm he eating and my set point is uh, 69 and the rooms get to 68, then it will trigger the, the fan into low speed. If it goes to 67, it will go to med speed and 66 it will go to high speed. So precision is a, is an important aspect of this thermostat and can be very precise as w obviously. So let's go into um, uh, you know the more option uh, there is. Uh, so uh, obviously the language uh, you know there's the clock and date uh, which you know once the Wi-Fi is connected automatically give you the right time setting uh, obviously you will want to connect your Wi-Fi setup which is very easy doing with the my house pro app and you just uh, scan the QR code and you can connect the app easily so um, and after that we're going to the feature settings which is where the bulk of of the option are so obviously the temperature format uh, then we have the mode option meaning uh, what am I using the thermostat for is that just for eating cool uh, do I want to trigger the auto mode so that it will switch automatically from eat to cool without me switching the mode or uh, do I want to activate the dehumidification mode and uh, the ventilation mode which only uh, triggers the fan speed and not neither the eating or cooling um, so the precision we discuss about this very important settings um, the auto switch mode is uh, the mode that switch from eat to cool automatically uh, I rather just do it manually I like to switch my thermostat from eat to cool manually um, uh, so the fan on, so depending on the system you're having, you may want the fan 
running in eat mode only or the fan mode running in cool mode only or the fan running in both uh, eat and cool mode. So I'll put it in this one, my installation. Um, let's keep going. Disinvestigation settings. Uh, that's kind of a fancy uh, uh, option where you can set um, the disinvestigation. So let's say I want my room to be no more than 60 Fahrenheit uh, with a precision of 10 and a differential of 2. Um, so I'm not going to detail of it because it is a it is a fairly complicated option. But essentially, uh, when uh, the thermostat reads seventy percent humidity, it will trigger the fan in low speed, uh, so to uh, uh, maximize the dehumidification in uh, uh, of the system. Um, but there's more to it. So um, and then we have. The temperature limit where I will I want to lock the thermostat, uh, and then we have the freeze protection, which I'm not using. Uh, we have the calibration. If it's a bit offset, we can calibrate it. Uh, we can calibrate the humidity as well, of course. Um, and you know, if we're dealing with uh, you know HVAC unit with delays, we may include a delay as well on the heat or cool output, but Usually that's not very useful. Um, and then we have holiday. If I'm going for a long time, I can set a uh, go to and come back date uh, with a holiday temp uh, temperature uh, during that time. Um, and we have the backlight. It can be, it is an auto dimming. Uh, it has a auto dimming uh, function, uh, so you can activate that, or you can just manually choose your level of brightness you prefer. I prefer mine not too bright. Uh, and then we have the standby screen. There's many options here. You can decide the time, or just at night it will go into the standby. Uh, standby can be the default, the one I show you. Only the clock. It can be just a blank screen turn off the screen or just the temperature so depending on your preference and that's what is interesting about this thermostat you can kind of set it the way you want it and as you can see it's pretty simple uh, for those who have children you can obviously lock it um, and uh, important uh, aspect of it is uh, um, you know if if you can reset it uh, as well, um, I was discussing about system information. Yep, that's it. So, yeah, kind of go over it. So, very simple to use. Uh, there is an history, so you can look at the runtime, the temperature chart, the humidity chart. It goes about two weeks. Uh, so, so we can see here in my house the last week um, and I can actually reset as well um, so it does provide a lot of information um, overall I really like my thermostat it's colors it's touchscreen it's Wi-Fi it's simple to use and uh, all the function that I need uh, are there um, and it was a great replacement for my Honeywell 120 volts. Uh, yep, I think uh, the fact that I think there's a lot of thermostat out there and uh, they tend to be like uh, manufactured and to some extent uh, designed in China and they really work like shit. Um, this is designed in USA uh, by MB Tech and it's just user friendly. Um, and from time to time, you can also update it with some new and updated function. Um, so definitely for the buck, it's, it's definitely worth it. All right. Thank you.